Hello all. We will be discussing the latest news that the National Stock Exchange, NSE, has received approval from the Securities and Exchange Board of India to launch a social stock exchange, SSE. An interesting question before we begin. What is the main benefit of social stock exchanges? A. Encourages innovation in social enterprises. B. Provides a platform for social enterprises to raise funds. C. Reduces the burden on government in achieving developmental goals. D. Promotes competition between firms and encourages market discipline. Please share your answer in comment section. Now let's try to understand, what is a social stock exchange? A social stock exchange is a separate segment of the existing stock exchange that can help social enterprises to raise funds from the public through the stock exchange mechanism. SSE identifies social enterprises as the ones engaged in creating a positive impact in society. Let's list down the benefits of social stock exchange. 1. It provides improved market access for social enterprises, as it facilitates a common and structured meeting ground between social enterprises and investors, donors. 2. It saves cost for both issuer and investor, donor, by charging negligible fees for registration and listing. 3. It encourages a synergy between investors and investee in social aims. The canvas of choice would be much wider allowing investors and investees with similar missions and visions to connect seamlessly. 4. It promotes performance-based philanthropy by monitoring the performance of enterprises listed on SSE, instilling a culture of performance, social return, driven philanthropy. 5. SSE promotes market discipline, as listing on SSE would involve regular audit of impact that SEs create, promoting competition between firms and encouraging market discipline. 6. SSE reduces the burden on the government, as SSE would leverage private sector participation in achieving the developmental goals. However, there are also concerns associated with SSE. Firstly, there is a lack of awareness, as investors do not have enough information about social enterprises, holding back donors and thereby hampering the fund flow. Secondly, a SSE can be more complex than a traditional stock exchange, given the need to evaluate both financial and social performance metrics. Thirdly, there is a dearth of adequate and meaningful literature and analysis of SSEs and their implications on civil society. Fourthly, social enterprises and non-profits may have limited liquidity in the secondary market, which could make it difficult for investors to sell their shares if they need to. Lastly, there are concerns about sustainability and scale, as a study by Impact Finance Network in 2018 found that 75% of platforms were unsuccessful in generating income sufficient to fund their operational costs. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Prepify for more valuable content on general awareness.